Mona Island is a small island in the middle of the Mona Passage between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. The weather has to be almost perfect for you to stop here because there is really no protection from the weather. We were super lucky to have the perfect weather window on our crossing from Puerto Rico to the Dominican Republic, so we took advantage of stopping at Mona for two nights. And we're really glad we did. We anchored in about 20 feet of water just off the beach on the western side of the island. Even in the perfect weather that we had, the anchorage was rolling because this is where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Caribbean Sea. But the setting couldn't be any more picturesque. As we were pulling into Mona Island, we noticed some camp set up, so we took a dinghy ride around the corner to see what that was all about. We were greeted by some local hunters from Puerto Rico that came in by boat because it's hunting season on Mona Island. They had camp set up and they were eating and drinking and just having a great time. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? A rabbit. A rabbit. Did you hunt the rabbit here? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Very good. This is awesome. They even had a pit set up where they roasted a pig the night before. And then we got a private tour of the island by one of the hunters who has been coming here for 35 years. Rich and the boys found a unimog that was on the island. Who knows what this was used for. What little electric there is on the island is produced by these solar panels. And since this island is part of the United States, the museum has to be handicap accessible. There were coconut trees everywhere, so that meant time for some coconuts. Luckily, the hunters had a machete, so it made opening the coconuts a lot easier. They also okay. had rum, and that made the coconuts taste a lot better. Oh, Bacardi, yes. Bacardi. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, Krista, you get to taste it.
While Krista and I were getting Bacardi in our coconut, the boys were getting something a little bit stronger in theirs. Okay. Oh, this this one has Bacardi. What is this? Oh, okay. And then they wanted us to try something else. The hunter's hospitality was amazing. We didn't speak much Spanish and they didn't speak much English, but boy did we have a good time. They shared their beers with us, and Rich was even given a bottle of the homemade hooch to take back on the boat with him. And by the way, all these dinghies have washed up on the shore and they've come from the Dominican Republic. So if you've lost your dinghy in the Dominican Republic, it may be here on the beach. <laughs> One of the hunters told us about all the lobsters out on the reef, so we had to go take a look. Chris and I are drinking beer. <laughs> Tyler and Cole got a lobster. <laughs> Needless to say, we had enough lobster for a couple of days. <laughs> if you have a weather window and a chance to stop at Mona Island on your way past, I really suggest you do so. The place was so unique and so untouched. There was no place else like it in the Eastern Caribbean.